Hello Cancer, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Please take what reason it resonates and leave the rest alone. Or you might want to look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. We have here the Empress, the beautiful Empress card here. Rebirth, rejuvenation, new starts, new things coming in. So it says, time to take action, give birth to your dreams, create projects that will be very successful abundance and prosperity and it can be pregnancy all that type of thing as well so new beginnings that are abundant and prosperous harmony uh, being coming into your life as well so taking action towards new things here honesty and communication so it's about being honest and communicating clearly what it is you want uh, so this might be part of the taking action to give birth to your new ideas. It's a very creative period. This one, transformation. Yeah, it's about change and bringing in transformation. Abundance will come from you bringing in uh, new opportunities, starting on new, with new opportunities here. Let's see what the tarot's got to say. Now, if this doesn't resonate, there's a playlist on my channel for November with all the messages on there. Something else might resonate with you better. We have got the emperor. So we've got the divine masculine and divine feminine energies here. So this can be a power couple as well. So a power couple, very powerful partnership here that could be starting up. The knight of swords, the six of pentacles, the eight of swords. Overall energy here is a knight of pentacles, the nine of cups, the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands here, and the Knight, or sorry, the Page of Swords. Now, this here is about overthinking things. You're overthinking. You're creating a wee mental prison for yourself here, and you're getting in your own road. Now, the, it could be any area of your life here we're dealing with, because the point of this reading is to move forward towards greater stable things. And it is about rebirth and rejuvenation. And it's about time, it's time to take action, which is the Emperor card, and to go towards abundance and prosperity here. Now, we're overthinking things here. We're creating this mental prison here. If she takes off the blindfolds and the binds, she could easily go forward. Easily go forward. So this is about how we're going to communicate. It's about being honest and communicating clearly. We need to get the mental clarity here that, we, that we're wanting. So we don't want to be overthinking things. We want to be start to thinking about how we're going to communicate here. Now, this could be information that needs to come forward here. It could be information that somebody could bring to you. It might be information that you need to gather. So this is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy here. It could be somebody bringing you the news whatever it is that could help with this overthinking. But it's time to stop thinking about things and decide to think about how you're going to go forward and how you're going to communicate. It's about being honest here. Because what it is, is you're going through challenges and it seems like you're going through one thing after another here and you're battle weary. Now, the good thing about these challenges is that you're learning the whole time you're going through them. These are karmic lessons that you're learning and you've survived up till now, Cancer. So there's no reason why you can't continue. The best way to go forward here is to take control of things. This is the emperor energy, this beautiful emperor energy, and to communicate honestly what it is that you've got to say here. So good, honest communication would help. And this is about bringing change into your life. It's a transformational time for you. And we're wanting to create new things, take up new projects, new ideas. And what we've got here is we've got this beautiful king of wands. And this king of wands is somebody who's passionate about what he wants to create here. He's got skills. He knows exactly where to put his energies and how to use his skills to bring growth into his life. So it's about taking control here, like I say, starting up new beginnings. So if there's anything you're passionate about, it's time to move towards these things. Be honest about it, get the necessary information that you're needing here. Uh, it could be going to somebody who's knowledgeable. Uh, they could provide you with some information, somebody with a lot of knowledge. So, for example, if you want to start up a business, if that's what you want to become self-employed, because he's a beautiful entrepreneur type energy, it's time to take control and take action over this. So you might be going to somebody who's got a lot of knowledge that can help you out. It could be a tutor if you're starting up a new course. It could be a new developing a skill. If you're a writer, you might be going on a writing course. Uh, you might be putting forward 
um, stories for to an editor of some kind, but it's a transformational time for you. So you want to be taking up new opportunities here, and it's going to help put an end to your challenges. So taking up new projects is going to help. Uh, don't be overthinking this. It's about taking control now and going forward towards new passionate times to bring transformation in. And like I say, you might have to speak up or gather information uh, about how you're going to achieve or start up these new projects that you're on, you're thinking about. Now, what this is going to happen is it's going to bring movement. Knights are movement, and we've got two knights on the table. So, like I say, taking control or getting information that you that you uh, is valuable could help you move on, or deciding to go towards what it is that you're wanting here is going to uh, is going to help you move forward. You're going to start to gain enlightenment, and it's going to move you towards stability here. So anything that you've got on the go, anything you're passionate about, you want to create, it's time to go for it now. Go for it because it's going to move you forward to greater stability in your life. Now, this could be somebody coming forward with information as well. So if you've applied for a course or a job um, or a financial investment of some sort, whatever it is you're investing in here that's creative, there could be news coming forward and new opportunities for stability. So the news could be coming from a Libra, Gemini, Gemini or Aquarius person, and the opportunities could be coming from a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy, but it doesn't have to be. But this is solid offers coming forward, uh, information that you could take up to move forward towards stability, and it will help you to bring in this beautiful balance into your life. Now, this balance here is harmony. It's a type of harmon harmonial uh, harmonious balance. So you're going to have a good financial situation from going forward when you start these things up. This is a very slow moving night. And the reason he's slow is because he looks at the details of things. So for example, if you're starting up a business, you might need a loan. If you're starting up a course, you might have to get bursaries in place. So it's about looking here towards creating the stability you need to bring the growth in so that you can take up the opportunity. So that when you go forward, Everything here is in place. So your finances are covered. You've got good relationships uh, with the people that you're around here because you're passionate about what you're doing and things will work out for you. There's nobody draining you and there's no environments around you that are, are strain. You're enjoying what you do and you're moving into beautiful transform. It's a transformation here from challenging times into more peaceful, well-balanced, harmonious times. And this happens because you're prepared to take up new endeavours. That's the transformation here that causes this beautiful balance to come in and the challenges to end. You're prepared to bring abundance. It will bring abundance and prosperity into your life here. Well-balanced uh, work environments, well-balanced friendships, well-balanced relationships, good financial balance in your life, all these types of things, because pentacles are about your work, your life, your finances or your environments, anything that's tangible. And when you're in this beautiful energy here, this universe rewards you because you can only attract that more of that into your life. And this is going to bring you a lot of contentment and happiness. So don't be overthinking things now. If you've got ideas here, it's a transformational time. It's time to take up new projects. Definitely invest yourself in new things. It will end your challenges. It will move you forward. If you have to get advice or you have to gather information from somebody that could help you, support you to put things in place, by all means, now is the time. Now, this could also be a power couple here as well. So it could be a good business partnership coming in. It could be a good romantic relationship coming in that we're passionate about here that is going to be a relationship of equal give and take, well balanced. So if it's a business opportunity that you, if you're putting in money or you're working well together to achieve the kind of contentment that you deserve, uh, we all deserve within partnerships here. So beautiful transformational energy is around you, Cancer. You've got to be honest, though, and communicate. Go forward with a clear head. And here we have it again, balance. It's time to find balance in your life. What is most important to you? Recharge, recharge. Slow down, please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out to look after yourself. Absolutely not. It will help with your mindset here. It'll help you see the way forward. Tune into your intuition always. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.